Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I recently visited Alton Towers for a couple of days in mid-May and I wanted to share my thoughts on the park with you guys. This video will be split into a few different sections. First, I want to discuss the general look and the atmosphere of the park. Second, I want to talk about the rides. Then I'll talk about the staff. And finally, I'll talk quickly about the food we ate whilst we were in the park. So to start, it's probably a good idea to mention a couple of things. Firstly, we did not visit the water park, the spa or Extraordinary Golf. We just visited the theme park itself for two days. So I can only talk about the theme park in this video. Secondly, I stayed on site for this trip. It's something that I really, really enjoyed doing. It does make things easier, especially if you are wanting to spend more than one day at the resort. So it's something that I would definitely recommend to you guys. Okay, let's talk about the general look of the park. How is the upkeep? How does it look? How was the atmosphere? All of that kind of stuff. So I want to say that I think the majority of the park was looking pretty clean during our visit and I could see staff members walking around picking up litter which was nice to see. Most of the rides were looking okay but two rides in particular did stand out to me that needed some love but I'll go into some more detail with that when we come to discuss the rides at the park. In some areas of the resort, I noticed that the grass could really do with cutting, uh, but obviously that is a quick fix for the park, really, to be honest, it's not a major issue. But I think the biggest thing that I kind of came across during my stay was that the monorails were looking very run down and a little bit dirty. It just seems as though they could use some TLC, to be quite honest with you guys. In terms of atmosphere, it seemed to me like there were parts of the park that were just absolutely full to the brim of atmosphere. Like for example, the area surrounding the Curse Old Manor and X Sector as well, they were an example of just really great areas of the park that were full of atmosphere. However, other areas of the park were completely void of any sort of atmosphere. Like for example, the Dark Forest and Galactica. To be fair though, the first day we visited, there was absolutely no music, no atmosphere, no nothing surrounding Galactica. But then for the second day, there was a big improvement there. The music was playing, operations were better, and there was just a little bit more of a buzz about the ride in general. Anyway, we're going to move on to the rides now. How are they running? Most rides, I'd say, were running totally fine. Wickerman in particular really, really stood out to me. It really impressed me, not just in terms of the dispatches, but just the ride in general was running really, really well. The trains were flying about that track and, yeah, I just had an absolute amazing time riding Wickerman this trip. The cleanliness as well, it was really clean. The pre-show was spot on. Everything was working as it should. And Wickerman, to be honest with you guys, is the complete package at Alton Towers right now. But unfortunately, there were a few rides I need to talk about here that weren't running quite as good. First is the Smiler. Now, I absolutely love this ride. I always have done. But when I rode it during our trip this year, it was just a very uncomfortable ride for me. I had heard stories from people that were saying that as the ride's getting older, it was getting much rougher. But my God, I did not expect the ride to be as rough as it was. It was very bumpy, very rough. I actually came off the ride with a bit of a headache. The dispatches were great. There were no issues there. But as I mentioned earlier, the ride just desperately needs some love, particularly in the queue line. It was just really sad for me to see a ride that I really love be in such a sad state, to be honest. I understand rides do get worn down over time, but I would just love to see the team at Alton Towers give some love to this ride. Obviously, Nemesis is not operating this year as it is having retrack work done. And I want to say that although I really, really missed Nemesis during my visit, it's wonderful that they're putting the love and the money into this attraction. And I am very, very grateful for that. Galactica is another ride which just really needs a bit of love and a bit of a rethink. I think that because they no longer run VR on the ride, it sort of just makes the name Galactica completely redundant. So personally, I'd love to see them close this ride for like a year or however long they need at, at some point in the near future and do some work to this ride. For a start, I changed the name back to its original name, Air, 
I'd like to see the queue line and the station have some work done as well. It was just looking very run down, very tired. The curse at Alton Manor is absolutely great. I think they've done so good with that, but the level of atmosphere and theming needs to be done across the entire park. We did the In the Night Garden magical boat ride with my little girl, and that was also looking quite run down. Some things weren't working. The animatronics were looking very rough and ran down. Uh, and this is the one ride where I think the dispatches weren't all that good on it. The queue was about half hour, 40 minutes, and the staff were only putting one family in each boat. And by doing that, literally, there were boats going round, which only had like two people in it sometimes. And it was just not good for the queue line and the wait time at all. If they had filled up the boats a bit more, then the wait time could have easily been like cut in half. Maybe there is a specific reason why they were doing this, but it just wasn't good for the wait time, especially when there is young children waiting in the line. And many of them are just too young to understand the whole aspect of like waiting your turn and waiting in line. So yeah, there was a lot of unhappy children in that line. I mean, let's not even get into the fact that there are those silly funfair rides there at the moment still, uh, which I didn't think really were going to come back for 2023, but they have done. So the conclusion with this is that certain parts of the park are running and looking great, but the other half of it just sort of needs a bit of love. I do understand and appreciate that with a resort as large as Alton Towers, that are so many different things going on. Uh, it is difficult to keep uh, up with stuff. As usual, all the staff members we encountered during our stay at the resort were friendly, helpful and polite. I don't think I've ever really had an issue with any of the staff members at Alton Towers. The staff are doing a great job, basically. Finally, we did eat at the Burger Kitchen while we were in the theme park. I know food has been quite a talking point of Alton Towers lately and I can't really get involved in that discussion too much. But what I will say is that the food was expensive, but the food didn't impress me. I mean, I wasn't looking for anything really fancy or really amazing, but I just would have appreciated for the price that we paid to have just a bit of a better quality. Wow, it was expensive. Me, my husband and my daughter's food came to just over £30 and my daughter literally only had three chicken tenders. So you can imagine how expensive just a couple of burger meals for me and my husband must have been if my daughter only had three chicken tenders and it still came out to over £30. <laughs> Obviously, the price is always going to be more expensive in the theme parks. That's totally fine. But I would have just liked to have seen a bit of a better quality in the food. That's all. But anyway, to finish off this video, I do love Alton Towers. It's an absolutely beautiful theme park and there are parts of it that are great, but there are also parts that just need love. I was really impressed with certain parts of the park and I think that there are lots of things that Alton Towers do very well, but it's just not consistent at the moment. That is my May 2023 trip review on Alton Towers. Have you been to the park recently? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead head click on that subscribe button thank you very much and i hope to see you in my next video bye everyone